Hello there, my friends and family throughout the world. My name is John Henry Sheridan, and I am here to uh, spread a little love, light, cheerfulness, and hope. Uh, and that's what this Thoughtful Pause series is aimed to do. Um, lately, I have had very little desire to share music. I'm a musician, a composer, songwriter, guitar teacher, music teacher. Um, but it's just these videos of sharing something uh, that I hope to be useful in, um, in these current times with you all. <clears throat> this is what I'm uh, inspired to do nowadays in terms of putting out videos. So anyway, uh, today my, my thought for you today is it's okay to be confused. It's okay to be confused. So, I just want to put that message out there because I am sure there's someone out there who's watching this who does feel a bit confused right now. There is a lot going on in our current shared reality that uh, may be feel may contribute to feelings of being overwhelmed, confused. Uh, you may feel like things are chaotic, uh, and that's because um, they are in the outer world. I do believe on a deep level that the outer world is a reflection of our inner world. So what I, why I would say that or why I would point that out is to just put a blanket statement that things are crazy right now uh, may be a little, um, I don't know if dangerous is the right word, but um, a little bit stronger than I would like to suggest to look at things. So if it seems that the world is chaotic and crazy and confusing, then it's okay to feel whatever feelings come from that this current state of affairs. Whatever, In other words, it's okay to feel how you feel. That's the main thing. So I'm guessing many of you, you who are watching this, may be feeling confused. I know. I feel confused a little bit every day. However, um, I do have very little, uh, virtually no mainstream news at all. Um, and I do control my Facebook time. I limit it quite a bit. Uh, I do watch a lot of YouTube, but it's, it's, I, I trust, I can trust myself as to what kind of content will empower me over discourage me. So I try to stick to content that's empowering and I find useful. Um, and inspiring and interesting. <clears throat> and, you know, I do want to learn things, too, that are may not be so cheerful if I think it could be of benefit. But if I think it's just going to drag me down and make me feel bad, then I will probably refrain from it. Maybe not in all cases. Maybe my curiosity will win sometimes and I will watch things that make me feel bad. But uh, I have control over, you know, the dial by when we choose our videos online rather than just what the mainstream media is giving us. Or when we don't choose our videos and we just, I don't know, allow autoplay or whatever. Um, so, but even still, even though I'm very limited to any mainstream media, I still sense a, you know, confusion in the air. Certainly with knowing many young people hearing stories because, you know, we have, my wife and I have friends who are also young parents who are dealing with their kids in school and there's, there's confusion going on. 
you know, I heard a disturbance outside of my house today of a neighbor yelling at somebody, uh, a census worker, you know, and uh, there's confusion in the air. What, what can I say? Um, and I don't like, <clears throat> I can't say I don't like confusion, although I do like to know where I stand with things. Um, I don't like uh, negative vibes. I don't like things that make me feel like I'm being threatened. I don't like feeling scared or afraid. That's for sure. Uh, but confused itself, um, it's okay to feel scared and afraid too, if that's how you feel. I'm not saying that. Any Anything that we feel, I do believe it's okay. Uh, Especially if we recognize that it's not permanent, it's passing through us. You know, I listened to Eckhart Tolle, Tolle today. I've been, I read his book in 2007 or 8, and that really influenced the way I think about things and helped me to separate the small eye from the, the big eye, the eye behind all things, like what is unchanging right from since you were a child to now if, if you're an adult now what is unchanging emotions change thoughts change circumstances certainly change our body changes so what is it if all that changes how what's the same why do you still identify with yourself and Eckhart Tolle explains that uh it's the unchanging I that's basically observing all of this that doesn't change. And it's the I that basically goes beyond all understanding. <clears throat> Can't even describe it. But I like that. You know, every, everything else, anything that we can talk about is a story. And a story is essentially not real because story can always be changed to something else um so anyway i just want to put that out there you know it's okay to be confused especially when we realize that confusion is just the state that's passing through us and then there'll be another state on the other end of it um it's in confusing times if you're confused no surprise. And you could be confused in non-confusing times, right? Uh, so I don't have any necessarily antidote or remedy that I plan to talk about, but I don't want to leave it just up in the air with, uh, like, go and be confused and enjoy confusion. Um, I think the, the larger message I would like to share with you is that You know, greater than our confusion is just our, the more important thing is to see that we're connected to the big picture. So if we can see that, hey, our world is undergoing a, uh, some changes, some upheavals, uh, and it's confusing time for society, and I'm part of society, so I'm confused too. I think it helps us to, to process it and to own it. Like, hey, I'm part of this world. This world is confused. So I'm confused too. No big deal. We'll get through this. I've gotten a lot through various things in my life that were tough. I'm sure you have too. Um, and if they weren't so tough, maybe you have some pretty tough things. Maybe you feel like this is the toughest time ever. Maybe you don't. Uh, certainly humanity has been through tougher times than this. Uh, I've been watching historical documentaries. I could watch a uh, documentary on the Great Depression in the 30s and see the, the long lines for food and people hopping around the country as hobos looking for work. You know, they couldn't couldn't feed their families. I'm not saying that doesn't exist today. I'm sure it does. Uh, 
or the, the Black Plague, you know, or Bubonic Plague, or uh, the Spanish Flu. I've been hearing a lot about that. Imagine being in the trenches in World War One as a teenager. I mean, horrific things happen today, I know. Horrific things happen in the past. If you can sit here and watch this and in the comfort of your own home with the internet, I imagine it's better than being in the trenches as a teenager in World War One, not and seeing your buddy get his uh, <clears throat> foot blown off or, or head. Um, not to be dramatic, but uh, really, when you look, look into the past, take some time, you know, remove yourself. I remove myself from the current situation and say, well, what did other human beings go through? We'll find, I find that there were things that are, the potato famine in Ireland in the, the mid 1800s, horrible, very horrible if you learn about that. This is time, in my experience, doesn't seem comparable to some of the horrors I've seen, I've learned about in history. Just putting that there, maybe your situation is a lot worse than mine, in which case, I don't mean to diminish it in any way. Uh, but my main point is, if you're confused, it's okay. And who am I to say? I'm just another human being, just like you. Just as one other drop in the ocean of consciousness. And I know that we're in a confusing time, so it's only natural if we're confused. I get it. And what actually the, the larger picture of getting it is, is that I have compassion for myself. So that underlies most videos I would talk about uh, in this type of series. You know, have compassion for yourself. If, if a child, four years old, was confused about something, you know, yell at them for being confused. You let them be confused. And if you can't explain it away, you say, well, sometimes things are confusing. You're yeah, that child too. I'm that child. We're all that inner child as well. That's all for today. All right. Take care. Until next time, be well and smile.